I can name a million things I'm not. The only thing I am is real. Smoking on that real kill, breaking Zion, honey bills. Wish I could and ask all the questions that you're eager to know and hopefully come to graceful conclusions. Right. I am your host, Mide Oni, the one and only. Let's get into it. Welcome, Jess. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. So deep. How was your journey in? Been good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank you for joining us today. So before we get into the call. She already thing, pissing me off, bro. I'm sorry, bro. She already. That look just pisses me off already, sure, bro. I might be just behaving. Tell me a bit about yourself. Who is Jess? What do you like to do? How old are you, if you don't mind sharing? I'm 20 years old. I'm currently a part-time. In How old are you, if you don't mind sharing? I'm 20 years old. I'm currently a part-time influencer and a model. I like spending time with my friends and family. I like going shopping like a lot. I'm always shopping. I'm gonna clarify a few hold things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It already sounds bad. It already sounds bad. It already sounds bad. I love the shop. I'm an influencer. Influencer and a model. It says, what is the job? But you're 20 though. I'm 21, different mindsets. We're, we're, we're in different mindsets right now difference before we get into the conversation there's an influence what is she influence bro like what's her thing been a quite a bit of confusion about where you're actually from so can you tell us are you Ghanaian are you Nigerian are you what are you I'm Nigerian you're Nigerian I'm not okay. Ghanaian I've been seeing all types of countries but I'm Nigerian yeah yeah you went to a concert an Omale concert and Omale Omale okay to be there. we all saw the footage you were very excited to be there and you got called up on stage and like we mentioned earlier you gave him the hottest wine ever but you were with somebody now this is the question on everybody's minds girl who is this man were you in a committed and defined relationship Let me hear this. with him? If she says yes. Um, yes. Oh my God! It hits different when you hear from the person themselves, bro. I'm not trying to stretch it too long because this happened like a, like a, I, I don't even know why she's getting an interview at this point, bro. I'm still lost on that. But just to hear, hear from her, for her to confirm it, that they were, they were a committed relationship and she still, I just spat a little bit. And she still got up on stage with Amale. I'm, that's his name, right? Amale, and still wind up on the cocky, you know? John on the star. It wasn't a committed relationship. How long were you together for? Just under a year, so okay. going to a year. Cook, she's cook. And when you say you were in a defined relationship, just so that everybody's aware, he was your boyfriend and you were his girlfriend. Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. Oh! So video, which we're gonna get back to, that you're a diehard fan of Omale. So I think my question here is, was this a date night? Was this planned? Was this, who bought the tickets? Why were you guys there together? Can you kind of talk us through yeah. what happened, the journey of that? Um, so I'm a huge Omele fan. I've been a fan since he even started like music. Mm -hmm. So I really, really like his music. So I've always wanted to go to his concert. I was going to see him. I think this was last year. Let me ask you a question, chat. Serious question. Say you're about to go talk to a new girl, right? The girl has a celebrity obsession, a celebrity crush. What would you do? And like, I'm not talking like, I'm not talking about like a mild celebrity crush. I'm talking about like, it's, it's, it's only them. It's only them. I remember a girl, a girl I was trying to talk to, she was addicted to Jack Harlow. Now I'm seeing this, thank God I ain't pulled. I'm too chopped. Well, he canceled that show. So I was like, oh, I've got to go to the next show, like 100%. So when he um, said that he was coming to London, I just bought the tickets. Um, and I thought I'd bring my boyfriend because he was going through a hard time himself. So I thought this might like get his mind off it. So I just thought, yeah, I'll just, just go with him. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Nah, I'm gonna let it go though. I'm gonna let it go. Let me shut the fuck up. Did that ever, did that run through your mind? I've always wanted to go on stage with Omele. Like, I don't think there's any other artist that I'd even go on stage like with. So me and him, we've had this conversation like days before the concert. If I was to get called on stage, like, would you be fine with that? And he said, yeah, like, that, like that's fine. Oh, He's been really? okay with it, yeah. When she asked him this question, my brother was thinking, it can't be that crazy, right? Nothing crazy. He's he's thinking about it too nicely, okay? That's on him. I ain't gonna lie. That's on him. Because if my girl was to come to me, like, let, let's let's say, let's say, hmm, let me think. Let's say Chris Breezy. All right, let's say Chris Breezy. 
let's say my girl hops up stage with Chris Breezy, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, a big, a big, how can I say this? A big, I don't know that much about Chris Brown. But what I do know is that nigga be at the concerts. He be grinding up on them girls when he bringing up on stage. Hold on, let me pull up a video so I show y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Leo, let him, yo, yo, yo. Let Chris Brown do some shit like that on my girl. I promise you, bro. I'm taking off the Crocs or whatever she on wear, and I'm <laughs> dual wheeled Desert Eagle with switches on them. <laughs> I'm letting I'm letting that shit go. I'm not playing. Dual wheeled. All right, look. I'm dual wielding the Desert Eagle, and I'm letting the switch go. I'm. <laughs> I'm letting the switch go. Okay. Okay. So when you got up onto the stage, what was going through your mind from the minute that he pointed to you to you getting onto the stage? What was going through your mind? I was like, you picked me. Like I was, I was so happy. Honestly, like we can tell. I wasn't thinking of anything negative, anything bad, or I'd go up there and do something that would obviously, you know. But I was really, really happy. Like. I was just so excited. I was yeah. like, I'm on stage with MLA. Like, the fact, bro, it's the fact, bro, why excited. is it not pausing on my, ah! The fact that she has an interview is just so insane. I'm just, I just want to point that out. It's so insane. Bro, what the? When you went, ever occurred to you? If I'm being honest, no. Okay. Um, I knew he was in the crowd, obviously. Like, I know he's there. Mm -hmm. But before we got um, up the stairs, obviously he asked me what my name was and I just did my little like dance. I obviously thought that was it. So I didn't think of it as much about him being offended in the crowd or anything. Okay. Uh, when you went to the, so the, you don't think the stairs she don't... and the screen came oh, down, what? what was going through your mind at that point? From what I remember, like I said prior, I was just really happy and excited. And he's done... Um, something similar as previous show but obviously that was of a professional dancer okay. so i wouldn't expect him to do that with a fan but obviously when those curtains like dropped i just i just thought to myself i was like oh is this like the same performance that he did at his last show mm -hmm. so yeah i just kind of knew i just had to dance you mentioned that you've seen previous <sighs> bro it's just it's this generation is so fucking cooked, bro. Just listening to her rebuttal on the whole situation, it's just pissing me off. It's pissing me off, bro. Like, how unaware do you have to be to go and... Really, let's think about it, bro. She really got up on stage and started winding up on a random. I mean, it's not just any random, you know what I'm saying? It's a celebrity crush, but like, random nigga just... You, come on stage. What? Like, bro. Obviously, he asked me what my name was. Bro, shut up, bro. I don't said, piss me off, bro. I don't want you to speak. I just speak. thought to myself, I was like, oh, is this like the same performance that he did? You oh, shut up, girl. You know? I kind of did because there was a lot of people, a lot of cameras. Mm -hmm. And I, I knew if I walk off the stage, people would tell me, oh, you ruined the show. Mm -hmm. You did this, you did that. So I just thought, okay, just. I'm just, here now. I'm here now. Just yeah. dance. Like. From <laughs> one person to another. But I'm on that right? time. Yeah. You weird. So bro. that, nah, that being crazy. said, after What's you guys on, though, danced, on, there is a <laughs> around. I'm not sure if you've heard that. When the screen yeah, she, came she, down, she... you and Omelo did share a kiss. We did not kiss. Um, all he did was he just like kind of hugged me. So obviously because of like the shadow, we looked like we kissed, but no, we didn't. After you danced with Omelé on stage, was there any exchange of contact details, whether it's Instagram, phone number, email? Uh, no, his team did ask me to like stay, obviously, but because my boyfriend was in the crowd, I just stay on stage. No, like stay backstage. Backstage, yeah. And you declined. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So after the okay, concert, on my leg, you know what I'm saying? Well, allegedly tweeted about. Yeah, I got it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I took a I took a month break. I took a month break because I don't know, bro. I just I just I was just switching up, bro. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but. I'm staying concrete to streaming. I'm staying concrete to streaming. Like, I'm sticking to it. Nothing else, nothing more. You know what I'm saying? We're going to probably branch out more the more it gets big. But the center, the nucleus, streaming. I just did this. I don't know why. Boyfriend, is this real? Is this fake? Like, can you clarify? Oh, it's definitely fake. So he didn't ask you no. if you had a boyfriend. Did you guys actually have a conversation prior to you dancing? 
we had a conversation after, like after the dance, we spoke. You and Omale? Yeah. Oh. But that was on stage. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was that conversation? No, it was just, I was just really excited. I was just like, thank you like for letting me go on stage and stuff. Yeah, yeah that was it. What was the first conversation you had when you went back down into the audience with your boyfriend? Even before I got to him, I already kind of felt a certain type of way. I just felt like I did something, not wrong, but I knew, I knew he would probably be offended when I saw his face. So he was just, he wasn't really like speaking. Really? For the rest of the show, no. Oh, okay. I wonder why. I wonder why he wasn't speaking. I wonder why. I wonder why. Use your brain, bro. What was the way that you were feeling? So as I was walking like through the crowd, um, there was this guy and he was like to me, oh, is that your man? And I was like, so that, the way he said it. Whoa, look at that. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Do you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to ignore you. Do you see that? Oh, is that your man? And I was like, um, there was this guy and he was like to me, oh, is that your man? And I was like, so that, the way Oh, was that your man? And she said, thank the heavens, my brother dodged a bullet. I wonder how long they've been dating though. I do wonder that, but she's cooked, baked, fried, deep fried, nigga. I'm talking about like McDonald's fries, bro. Like she's. The way he said it, I just thought, I wouldn't want anyone to speak about him in that way or to me. Like, what do you mean? People be our age and still in high school, mentally. It's really, I really fear, like, the generation, like, like after us, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I be seeing what my sister be doing, bro. She be doing some fucking outlandish shit, bro. The other day, she said, fuck you. I said, I'm like, huh? And just, just earlier today... I'm putting water in my little, where my chug jug at? I'm putting water in the chug jug. She on her iPad and all, bro. My sister, she gonna walk up to me. She walks up to me, right by the water and says, oh, do you know something about golden showers? Go to your fucking room. Ain't no damn way. Golden showers, my nigga? Well, how do you know this? Oh, Kelly is in jail. How do you know this? He wasn't trying to hear that. So he just walked off. But he was waiting for me at the end of the road. So obviously the person that was recording, they didn't get that part, but he was waiting for me. So I want to go back to a previous question that we spoke about. You said that you going on stage, he was f totally okay with it. You've helped, you've already Porn, porn addiction is probably the worst so addiction by far. to go on stage. Yeah. And when you come off stage, he's visibly upset. So do you think that he was influenced by the audience and their reaction? 100%. Okay. Because he was recording himself and then in the video there was like, there was girls around us and they were just looking at him and recording him. And obviously that's gonna make him feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. But before that he was recording, so. I mean, no duh, I'm at a fucking concert. Are you crazy? Of course I'm gonna record the concert while I'm at the concert, bruh. But when my girl is up on stage, literally getting groped on by the performer himself, and everybody's gonna start putting their cameras on me, of course I'm gonna feel uncomfortable. You wasn't thinking about it, you wasn't thinking about that while you were up there. I'm gonna ask this question. She pisses me off, honestly. Bro. As liberally as you can. Would you say that? you respected him as your boyfriend. And the reason... Understand, notice the body language. Notice the body language in this. Just look at her body language when she asked that question. Put, play, play the motherfucker. Oh my God. Respected him as your boyfriend. Look at her. And the just looking spaced out like I'm asking this question is because there's a, been a lot of if it's not a if it's not a bro if you don't bro if you space button if you don't fucking hit that pause button I swear to God bro I'm gonna smash this whole keyboard into fucking pieces on this damn stream bro I don't know why she's trying to milk this and look how long it's took of course you know what I'm exactly 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 if it's not an instant hell yeah or it's like an instant yes. If it's not an instant yes, she does not respect you at all. If she has to think about it, she has to, her eyes have to wander off. Tell me some. Mm, la -da -da 
da 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 And you telling me she just can't answer the question? My bro. Fucking work. Space. For you to go on stage. What is this? I myself bro. have thought. If for you to go on stage while your boyfriend's there, that's not something that a lot of people would see as respectful. Talk us through that. Yeah. Um, I do. And I know I do she's been cooked, but this makes her like quadruple well, cooked. The way I dance you know what I mean? On stage, might have looked like I don't respect him at all. Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of respect for him. But I, I do understand why people would think what I did was disrespectful. Did you speak about it as a couple after? <laughs> what was that conversation? Huh? Oh, my bad. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I'm thinking like in like social media. Speak about that. Okay. It was a private conversation. Yeah, it was a private conversation. Oh, you can't speak on that? You can't speak on that? You know why you can't speak on that? Because you're damn, you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong. You're purely in the wrong. And you know it too. You know it. You know you're in the wrong. There's no way. There's no, just, mm -mm. you're in the wrong and you know it. She knows she's in the wrong, man. If the table. But to be fair, it is a private conversation because you know what I'm saying? It is a relationship. We have to respect the boundaries. And I will respect the boundaries. You know what I'm saying? But what I will stand on, she's a disrespectful woman. Dead ass. Was what turn? I don't want to say what I want to say. Would be this much outrage if he had gotten on stage and danced Ooh. with Jada Kingdom. Yeah, we've literally spoke about that before. He was like, oh, what if Iris Star calls me on stage? And I was like, go, like, do your thing. Just because you go on stage. She's lying out her teeth. First off, y'all know. Let me show y'all Jada Kingdom, first off. Let me show y'all Jada Kingdom. This this might be TOS. But you see, you see, you see Jada Kingdom. You you yeah, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see, y'all see Jada Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? You telling me you just gonna let your man go up there? You're lying out your damn teeth, bro. She's lying out her damn teeth, bro. She you know, you every girl bro, every girl would be pissed if I if a man get on stage with keep Jada Kingdom, bro. If you're a girl and your man goes on stage with Jada Kingdom and you telling me you're not going to be mad? You're not going to be upset? Just because you go on stage, it doesn't mean there's anything between you and the artist. So, like, it's... But it's a different thing when your significant other is in the crowd. She doesn't understand, bro. I don't think she understands the type of pain that went through in that moment. I'm, I'm, I'm behind security. I'm behind security gates. I'm surrounded by people, cameras in my face, as I am being forced to look upon the stage and see my girl get grinded on by another man. And in 4K, 60 frames per second, in front of me behind a curtain. Remember Bad Baby? But shout out to Bad Baby though, cause she she flipped it. She flipped it and monetized this shit through music. But she blew up off of just saying, catch me outside. You know what I'm saying? She blew up for being a meme. This is not blown. This is the wrong way to blow up, sis. This is the wrong way to blow up. Like my boy Jelani said earlier in the chat, no substance, no substance. She has nothing that's gonna make her like make us stick to her. I already want to slide away from her. She's like butter. Ugh. I would have an issue with that, no. And do you think that you would have felt a type of way, depending on the audience and your surrounding? I wouldn't feel a certain type of way, but obviously, if people are recording you because they're invading your privacy, you don't just record people. I would feel uncomfortable. But not with him being on stage, but with the fact that people are just trying to make it look like it's wrong. Painting a different story. Yes. Okay. When did you actually notice that you had gone viral? So on the night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love, I love how she she squints after every question because she, I know she just hates this woman. She's sitting across right now. You had gone viral. Like just look. So on the <laughs> night, um, like literally immediately after the concert, I saw myself on TikTok and I was like, oh, that was quick. Like, um, but that was just a clip of me dancing. Like he wasn't in that video. And there was like a lot of positive comments. Like a lot of girls were saying, oh, I wish that was me. You did your things. So I was like, I was. And then the video from the other point of view came out anything. and it was so all, was all hell broke loose. When you had seen it actually blow up on Shade Borough. It's made it to the Shade Room at one point. How were you feeling? It was a lot because there's only so much someone can take and for you to like see yourself all over social media in a negative way, um, it, it did affect my mental health mm -hmm. because everyone had like lots of opinions. 
and stuff. But I had my friends and family around, so they were like really supportive. How did they react to this situation? With my friends, at, like, because I called them straight away. I even called them like when it happened, and they did say, or oh, maybe like, you shouldn't have danced the way you did. And I understood because at the time I did feel very bad for him. But then after it got out of hand, we just said like, it's not that serious. Mm. Like I, sh I don't, I shouldn't be exact getting this amount. Thank you, bruh. Thank you, bruh. It's the exact point, bruh. Do you not, do you, do you not understand the repercussion? Like, the moment, the moment her bum touched pelvis, you, you wasn't thinking about your boyfriend then? You wasn't thinking? Hmm? You wasn't thinking about your boyfriend then? Hmm? And you tell, you're telling an interviewer, oh, I didn't know what was going to happen. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know. I didn't know. And with my family, um, they're very supportive. I actually thought they'd be like angry at me or they'd like, you know, but they were like, it's just a dance. Yeah. Like, you're young. No, bro, no. Bro, I'm about to rage in this bitch, bro. It's not just a dance. I don't see it as just a dance. I don't. I don't. You have no respect for me. You have, you have, that's really the big thing though. No respect. And I'm assuming the relationship had to take stages for them to be, uh, to be solidified. You know what I'm saying? For her to buy a ticket for him and take him to a show. It had to be some form of like, so, so it's like, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. But they were concrete, okay? They were concrete. Fuck everything I just built up. Let me go dance on Omole. I was really confused. And I'm not going to lie, in that moment, all I cared about was what he thinks of me. And he did tell me what he thinks of me, like complete opposite to what people are saying. But because there was just so much that was said, I just... I didn't know what to do with all of that, so it was it was like really really bad. It was a lot. And how are you? That was the that? only good choice she made I'm okay. until now. Um, I'm not gonna I, let that get to. I me. ain't gonna lie. If I was her right now, I wouldn't say anything at all because there's there's no way you can make yourself like the good person in this situation. There's no way. There's no way. So there have been a few rumors going around, uh, one of many, that this was a staged thing. I don't know how it could be staged, but. There have been allegations that it's staged. Can you talk us through that? Shed light. I get why people would say that. Exactly. Fact, Just take the L and move on. People, if you went on exactly, stage, you probably wouldn't know like what to do or how to dance. Mm. So I get why people would say that, but no, it wasn't staged. So are you just a natural bad B yeah, dancer? Like, if yeah. I need to go with the flow, I'll go with the flow. Yeah, like, period. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so the next part that we're going to get into, um, a lot of people know about Kai Sanat, who is a YouTuber, big YouTuber, American the GOAT. streamer. That's my guy. He That's my guy. One day, one day. You get great exposure if you go on to his show. And he reached out to you and asked, would you be willing to come on, have a conversation about the events of that night? To which you proceeded to respond, no. If I, I will come on, however, I'm going to need compensation. How did we get there? Wait a fucking minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Am I fucking late? Am I late to the show right now? Because I know he brought the boy on. But I didn't know he tried to get her on. And she begging for bread. Oh, yeah, she did text that. Hold on, bro. She replied. Damn. I said, let me. Yo. I said, let me know if you want to talk on stream to tell your side of the story. She said, hi. Thank you for reaching out. I'm definitely interested in collaborating with you. However, I'd appreciate it if we could discuss, discuss compensation for my time and my contributions. Oh my God. I don't even like the word, I don't like to use the word bitch. But oh my God. She begging for compensation? Just to be a guest? That's free promo! Are you crazy? Let Kai, let Kai ask me to pull up on stream. Where am, I, where am I gonna be at? I'm getting my badge. I'm ready to go. She talking about some compensation for me being there. Nigga, who is you? When he messaged me, first of all, I was like, this is actually Kai Sanat, because why would you message me like... Mm. 
What do you mean? What do you mean is that Kai Sinet? What do you mean is that Kai Sinet? Come on, my nigga. You can't, you can't be that dumb. You can't be that dumb. You can't be, right? You can't be, right? Did he text? Did he text her off of the? I'm assuming. I'm assuming Kai texts you off his main page, and you question, mm, is this the real Kai? Do you not see the verification? You can check the profile. That's not. That was not what you were thinking. Actually, you was like, oh, this is Kai. Oh, Kai's a the biggest streamer on. Well, one of the big streamers on Twitch. Oh, let me go ahead and try to get a bag off him while this is still going viral. Miss, I don't even know your name. The title of the video says the truth behind what happened after the Oma Legs concert. Your name's not even in it. I don't know you. I don't know how much I was actually trending because at the time I wasn't really using my phone as much. I didn't want to see all the hate yeah. and stuff. So when I opened my DMs. Just get on Hell Divers. Now I need views on my YouTube, bro. Sorry. And I saw that you messaged me. <laughs> Like, but I'm still speaking. I'm still speaking the um, truth on this, though, bro. So what I did was I spoke to my friends and my family, and for me to go on anyone's live stream, I don't really. And at the time, I wasn't thinking about exposure. Bro, she, bro, you see just, that? You see that? You see that face? You see that face? Read body language, chat. Read body language. Look, look at her. Just look at the interviewer's face as she's speaking that rah rah buffoonery. Look. Because at the time, I wasn't really using my phone as much. I didn't want to see all the hate and stuff so when i opened my dms and i saw that he messaged me i was like oh. i was like this is good like yeah. this has to be you know yeah, yeah. um so what i did was i spoke to my friends and my family and for me to go on anyone's live stream i don't really and at the time i wasn't thinking about exposure the squint say it all like mm, i'm trending i'm not gonna mm, go on let me see how let me stream. see how hard she about the cap that. Let me see how um, hard she's about to say that rah rah. Hmm. Was this from advice that you had gotten or just an internal thing? Both. Okay. And obviously when you responded and said you needed compensation, he was like, the audacity, yeah. how dare you sort yeah. of thing. And proceeded to, well, from what we know, proceeded to reach out to your boyfriend. Can you talk us through that, how that, the timeline of how that went? After he replied, um, the if she says, if she says, if she says one more dumb thing, I'm ending the video. I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave it at that because this is, this is a waste of time on my end, no lie, and it's a waste of time on y'all end because y'all know y'all, y'all sick of her too. I'm sick of her too. Look at her face. She piss, she's pissing me off right now as we're paused. She's pissing me off. I want to punch the screen right now. I actually want to drop kick the screen right now. The next dumb thing she says, I'm ending the video, and I'm hopping on L dive. No lie station question mark he actually rang me so okay. he video called me twice but i was with my boyfriend at the time and he told me to not answer the phone so oh, wait a minute so we're gonna hell divers bro the same boyfriend okay the same boyfriend that just watched you get groped pelvis to bum action on and you telling me your the boyfriend said don't answer that phone call from Kai Sinet? But yeah, he still got on the stream with her with him? She's a liar! I caught her! I caught her! She's a liar, bruh!